Nicole live in Orange Vale this morning with some advice that I have to confess I will never need Dr. Jill because snakes kind of give me the creeps, but I have friends who think they're swell pets. Hi, Jill. Hi, Paul. Good morning. Hey, listen to this. This is something you don't hear every morning when you're drinking your coffee. Check this out. Is that the heartbeat of a snake? That is the heartbeat of a snake. Wow. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, I know. Wow. How, how often do you get to hear that every day, right? That's, that's my first ever snake heartbeat, I have to tell you. <laughs> well, it's very slow. So this is Rambo, and we're doing a physical examination on him today, and we're talking a little bit about veterinary care for your snakes, but also some holistic approaches to treating your snakes. A lot of people dump antibiotics into these guys because they get upper respiratory infections, viruses, parasites, and so we wanted to show people that there are some alternatives for treatment care as well. Okay. I'm going to disconnect this Doppler here because I want to show you something really cool, Paul. And by, by the way, Jill, Rambo is a boa constrictor, is that right? Ra Rambo is a red tail boa. I don't know if you can see his tail. It's, it's red on the bottom here, if you can take a look at that. He's kind of holding on here. Well, he doesn't his mind tail if you is look almost. At his tail. Oh, yeah. No, it's, it's pretty prehensile, though. They can actually hold on. We're going to put some safety goggles on him right now. Okay. So Rambo. I oh, know, they're a little big. Goggles on a snake, folks. Turn on, run to your television. They're putting goggles on a snake on Fox 40. And I'm going to put my goggles on, and Hillary's going to put her <laughs> goggles on because we're going to do a laser treatment, okay. which is really a cool idea. I know. You've seen it here first, right? <laughs> <laughs> and this is the, uh, the MLS therapy ra uh, laser. It's awesome. It does all kinds of animals, and it will actually help with mouth rot for snakes as well as wound care, arthritis, all kinds of things for animals. But we love it because this particular laser works beautiful on exotic animals. Jill, Jill help, me, help well. me understand what the laser is doing. It's killing bacteria. What, what is the laser doing? Depending on the setting, yes, it can kill bacteria. It can heal wounds. It can actually help with arthritis, pain, inflammation, all kinds of different things on there. Depending on the setting and which one you put it on and which one the doctor recommends, it will help for that condition. Does that mean a snake can get arthritis by what you just said? Well, actually, yes, they can get arthritis, but a lot, a lot of times I use this for cuts and wounds on them, okay. or mouth rot is a common condition, vitamin deficiencies as well. And I wanted to point out, behind me here are some natural, ingredient, natural products. There's the Chinese herbals, as well as nutraceuticals and vitamins that you can use to help treat your pets, your reptiles as well, birds, turtles. You know, it's, it's, it's a whole different wave of medicine now out there, Paul. Well, Clearly, you can see that. I can't, Jill. You never fail to fascinate. And uh, <laughs> next time you want to put goggles on a snake, you say the word. We'll come running out with a camera because that is that is fantastic. Thank you, Jill. Uh, and she will take good care of you and your pets, I assure you. When Bethany got Charlie the dog, the first place she went was to go see Dr. Jill. If you'd like to schedule an appointment or check out her website, uh, go to Dr. Jill, D R J Y L dot com, or you can call her up. The number is there on your screen. Let's get uh, one more look at